Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're making Instant Pot Tuscan Chicken Pasta. So I'm Kristen. And I'm Camille. And today's recipe is one of my very favorites. It's True. one of the most popular recipes on our blog because it's so easy to make and everybody loves it. Yes. It's really creamy, you've got chicken in there, so, and of course pasta, everybody's happy with Everyone that. loves pasta, right? The great <laughs> thing about this too is once you're done cooking it in your Instant Pot, you can easily turn it into a freezer mess. Um, you can put it all in a big bag or in some type of like freezer container, stick it in your freezer and pull it out when you need dinner in a rush. Right, So perfect. It's so good. You can easily also double the recipe and have half for tonight yeah. and then save half for next week when you know it's gonna be crazy. Perfect. Now, if you notice, we are wearing our new shirts. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. So she's wearing Let's Get Cooking. I'm wearing Ceiling Not Venting. We also have one more, it's called The Seventh Sister. Yes, we get so many requests <laughs> from people saying, hey, can I be the seventh sister? So we decided to make it official. You can get your own seventh sister shirt. And if you've been following for a long time, you'll know Kristen says this every time when it's time to start cooking. So let's get cooking. All right. All right, so we're gonna start out with two cups of pasta. So the one that we are using, and I don't know if I'm gonna say it right, Ditalini, Ditalini. The little ones. Anyways, they're the cutest <laughs> little tubular pastas. My kids love them because they're a fun shape. Right. So you need two cups, which is about half of a 16 ounce container. And just go ahead, pour that into the bottom. Nice, okay, then we're gonna do also two cups of chicken broth. And again, this is four cups, so we're gonna just kind of eyeball it and yeah. put in our two cups of chicken broth. Or at least until the noodles are all covered. Yep. There we go. Okay, then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of butter. And you can just like, <laughs> if it wants to, to come. There we go. There we go. You can literally just plop it in, because guess what? It's gonna pressurize and melt, and it's gonna be perfect. Perfect. Um, just two cups of chicken. Yep. Cooked chicken. Cooked chicken. Cooked and diced. Okay. Okay, then it's time to cook it. All right. You're gonna put your lid on. You hear the little jingle? That means it's on correctly. Then this is called the Nova, so you don't have to turn any knobs to sealing or venting, because, yeah, it doesn't have that. But if you do have a different one, like a Duo or a Lux, make sure that your little knob is turned to ceiling. All right, so we're gonna push the pressure cook button and we're gonna go all the way down to about four minutes. Then once you set the timer, you can literally just walk away. All right, it is finished cooking. We are going to do a quick release because our pasta doesn't need to stay cooking continually. So I'm gonna either push this or if you have the knob, move it to venting. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we're gonna see how this works. All right, once all the pressure's out, you can safely open it. Nice. I love how big these noodles get, right? Yes. So right now, you're just gonna mix in your chicken and your pasta, and just kind of mix everything make together. Sure it's all done. Now, the nice thing about this, if you fill up the liquid to where the pasta hits, you don't have to drain anything. You can actually just kind of mix, and then we're ready to add the rest of the stuff. That's awesome. You're ready? Yep. Okay, what you got? Okay, so I'm gonna start with the tomatoes. These are sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried, yes. They have been drained. They come in a little jar. So you drain them, chop them up, kind of into as big of pieces as you want. So we did like four ounces of those. You yeah. can do up to eight ounces if yeah. you If love. your family loves them. Yes, yes. Okay, next time I'm just gonna add an eight ounce block of cream cheese. Um, we'll get that starting to melt in yes. there. Let it sit in the heat. Yes. You can even, if you want to, cut it Let's up. break it up. Yeah, it's a it good idea. It will even faster. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna add about a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Just dump that Throw in. That right in. Mm -hmm. And we've got, how much uh, parsley? One tablespoon. Cool. <laughs> okay, so we have half a teaspoon of pepper and what, half a teaspoon of garlic salt. Yep. Awesome, all right. Let me just dump that in. There you go. Nice. All right, I'll mix this a little bit. Okay, and then we've got how much milk? About half a cup. Okay. Cup of milk. Pour that right on top. All right, so this is gonna take a little while for the cream cheese to like melt and mix in. Yeah. So we're actually gonna help it along a little bit. So you're gonna push cancel and then you're gonna push the saute button. So we'll just help it. Yeah, cook Heats it up really yeah. fast. And any extra liquid like that milk in there, we'll, we'll make sure that it's all nice and, yeah. and thickened up a little bit. There we go. So good. It does. The other thing I'm gonna throw in while you're mixing that up and okay. it's heating up 
is just two cups of baby spinach. And I actually kind of just rip it with my hands so it's even smaller. Good idea. It's going to shrink a ton. Yeah. You and probably won't, your kids probably won't even be able to see it. Yep. But because I do have picky kids, I <laughs> am going to rip it up even smaller. Nice. And a picky husband. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is my life. Hide the vegetables in there. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so you want about two cups or two big handfuls of that. Nice. And it will shrink down as the, the cream cheese melts and everything heats up. Yeah. All right, so it's all mixed together. It smells amazing. We're gonna push cancel here so it will stop cooking because we don't want it to burn onto the bottom. Yes. But here is when you can either like serve it right now or yep. you can let it cool down a little bit and then put it in a freezer meal bag <laughs> or whatever you want. That was a huge mess. mess. <laughs> yes, not the best serving spoon, but you get the gist. You get the gist. It's amazing. And it tastes so good. Nice and creamy. Totally cheesy. Your kids and the even spinach. Are gonna love yep, it. everybody loves this one. So there you go. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us today. Now, if you want more freezer meal recipes, you can check out these ones right there. Now, if you also want one of our t-shirts, there's a link down yeah. below in the description and you can find them. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.